Let's look at clipping in QGIS 3. So clipping is going to be a way to get features um, that are only in our particular um, polygon, usually. So uh, for example, I'm looking at libraries in New York City. I'm looking at council districts. Maybe I'm only interested in this council district, and I only want to see libraries for that council district. I could come through here and select them one by one, but I'd rather not. I'd rather not miss one. Maybe I have millions of points and I just want a certain set of them, like 10,000 of them. Um, in this case it's only four, but you'll be able to see the idea. So um, for clipping, um, in this situation what I'm going to do is select the council district using the select by single click and you can see that I've selected this council district because it's yellow and I'm going to come down to this search box and search for clip and so the way this works is there's an input layer which is the thing you want to clip so I want to clip libraries I want to see only a certain subset of libraries. So I'm clipping the libraries. And I'm clipping two polygons. So um, the clip layer always going to be polygons. The input layer could be any kind of layer, points, lines, or polygons. For example, you might want only streets in your council district, Clip will actually not only select only those streets, but it will also chop them off at the borders of the council district. So in this case, I'm just getting the libraries in my particular council district, and I want to say only the selected ones. So only that one that I selected. As you can see here, it could be multiple selected features. Um, and then I'm just going to create a temporary layer and open it once it's done. And it should be really quick with uh, this much data. And you'll see if I hide the original library layer, you see that it just created um, a new layer with only those four, only the ones in my area. And now I can style these differently than other libraries, or I can only show these libraries. That's totally up to you. Depends on what your goal is. So, um, and then I can deselect the original council district. And again, um, this is a temporary layer. So if you want to hold on to it, you'll want to come down and export it save as a shapefile, and give it some kind of descriptive name, probably libraries, clipped, and then the council district, something like that. So another situation that might frequently come up is I have too many polygons, and the polygons aren't quite the shape that I want them to be. I want them to fit into some other polygons. Um, and I'm going to show that example next. Okay, so I have uh, two layers here. One is just the borough outlines for New York City. It's that top one. And then underneath that, these are the census tracts for the whole state of New York. And I'm doing this because the way the census tracts come to you are by state from the census borough. So what I want to show you is how you can clip it to just the city, um, not just to only have census tracts in the city, but also to make them look a little bit more the way you expect them to. So census tracts will fill in the water. Um, as you can see here, I can make this a little transparent so you can see that. So you can see it's filling in the water, but if I want a map of census tracts, I might want to clip the census tracts to the borough outlines to 
make it um, look more the way you expect the city to look. All right? So <clears throat> the way this clip works is exactly like with the libraries and council districts, except in my case, I'm not going to select the features in the boroughs because I already, I know I want to just clip to all of the boroughs. Okay. So again, I'm going to come down to clip. The input layer is the thing that I want to clip. In this case, it's the census tracts, and I want to clip to the borough outlines. So that's the second layer. So you're changing the tracts, you're making a new file out of the tracts, and that file will not exceed the boundaries of the boroughs. All right. So this might take a little bit longer than when you're just clipping points to a polygon as we did earlier, but you see that it gets, um, it does it pretty quickly. And if we zoom in a bit, you should see what we expected to see. So we have this clipped layer and it should not ever exceed the boundaries of the burrow layer. You see there are some mismatches here and um, in this case, we're just going to keep that the way it was. Uh, so these are areas that are in the burrows, but not in the clipped, in the census tracts to begin with. Uh, so for whatever reason, the census burrow has um, geometries that don't quite match um, what exists according to the city. Um, and that's, we're just going to have to leave that as it is in the case of census tracts. Um, but hopefully, hopefully that makes clear why you would want to use clipping in a situation like this. One thing I'll look at before we go is um, the CRS for um, both of these, um, the boroughs. I know this is 2263. It got read by uh, QGIS as a user generated projection, but it's 2263, which is the local uh, projection. If we look at the one for, um, for the New York State uh, census tracts, you see it's 4269, and that's NAD83. So, <clears throat> Unlike with um, older versions of QGIS, you don't have to worry about projections as much when it comes to clipping. You can just use any two files in whatever projection and it ought to work. If it didn't work, you might need to change the projection first. And again, that would be under export, save features as, and then change the projection here. Okay, that's two different clips. Hope that helps.